Hello, what's up, everybody? How's it going? CJ, Mata Ingles, right here. Before we start, make sure you subscribe. And let's go ahead and get started. So we're right here, and we have the past continuous form. Past continuous. Woo, we're not talking about the present or the future. We are talking about the past continuous form. All right. So basically, and I, I took this picture, yo, yo algo esto que. Wow. Basically, basicamente, we use the same as the present tense continuous form. So if you know what the present tense continuous is, it's going to be the same. And don't worry, we'll, we're going to look at these examples right here. All we have to do, we're just going to look at this complex stuff. But once we see it, it's going to be a little bit easier. We add the past tense of to be. To be, so I was, or you were, plus the verb, okay? So let's take a look. For example, I was, that's the past tense of to be, ser, mustar. That's the past tense of to be. I was writing, escribiendo, my research paper all night. I was writing my research paper all night. Okay, while I was studying, my friends were playing. While, mientras, while I was studying, mientras que yo estuve estudiando, my friends were playing. All right, so if you, you, you might understand this, that's great. So let's keep on going. Let's take a look. Uh, so what is the continuous tense? What is it? All right, so... Right here, the past continuous tense shows a continuous action that began in the past. Un acción que pasé en el pasado. Disculpa mi mal español, pero es algo que estabas haciendo en el pasado. Pero continuamente, I was cooking, I was walking, you were running. An action. You don't want to say you were run. I was run. All right, you want to say I was running. So let's take a look. Vamos a ver algunos ejemplos. Let's take a look at some examples. And this city right here, this is Baltimore. I took this with my drone, Baltimore. All right. Okay. To leave. To leave. I was leaving my apartment when my sister called me. I, yo, this is the personal pronoun was so the green is going to be the version of ser the past tense of ser and then the blue is going to be the continuous form of the verb okay so i was leaving my apartment apartmental when my sister mi hermana called me me llamó mi hermana i was leaving estaba saliendo mi apartmento cuando mi hermana me llamó all right más o menos así disculpa mi mal español pero to leave i was leaving my apartment when my sister called me. All right? Cool. Interesting. And remember, please, habla conmigo. Say it with me. Try to pronounce different words. I'm going to help you, but say it with me. This will help you tremendously, okay? So, you, tú, you, o usted, you were leaving the school at 3 o'clock p.m. yesterday. You were you were leaving the school at 3 o'clock p.m. yesterday. Estaba saliendo de la escuela a las 3 de la tarde a, uh, ayer. <laughs> okay, something like that. I'll go and see. You were leaving. You were. Not going to be you was. It's incorrect. You want to say you were leaving. This is just different verb conjugations of the verb ser. It is an irregular verb, so we have different conjugations. Just like in Spanish, exactamente como en español. Yo soy, tú eres, okay? Diferente, pero en inglés tenemos menos. All right, es un poco más fácil en inglés, okay? You were leaving the school at 3 o'clock p.m. yesterday. So let's keep on going. He, she, or it, okay? Look, he, she, and it. I put these pronouns in the same group because they share the same grammar, Okay? There's not really a word for it in Spanish, but we can think of this as like lo. For example, lo tengo. I have it. All right? So if you don't know what it means, si no sabes lo que significa it, eso es. He was leaving the park 
late last night, or she was leaving the park late last night, or it was leaving the park late last night. Que estaba saliendo del parque muy tarde anoche. En la noche tarde, no sé. Once de la noche. All right? We, we were leaving the chapel. A chapel is una iglesia, chapel. All right? So we were leaving the chapel last Sunday at 12 o'clock. We were leaving the chapel last Sunday at 12 o'clock. So we left church yesterday at 3 o'clock. Or at 12 o'clock. So normally, we don't really say chapel a lot. Normalmente decimos church. All right? Eso es más popular. Pero a veces, vas a decir, ah, oh, there's a chapel over there. All right? So we were leaving the chapel. Disculpa. Last Sunday at 12 o'clock. So good job. So there we go. They... They were leaving the chapel last Sunday at 12 o'clock. Oh, excuse me. I made a mistake. They were leaving the aquarium when she slipped in the puddle. Slipped is cuando I slipped. Oh, my God. Estás caminando y hay un poco agua y te caigas. Oh, the, the water slipped. I slipped and I fell. Yo caigo. All right. I slipped and I fell. So ellos estaban saliendo el acuático, el acuario. <laughs> Cuando ella se caiga in the puddle, a puddle, mira, en el foto que tengo aquí, eso es como un puddle. A puddle is a little bit of water on the street. Un poco agua aquí en la calle. That's a puddle. All right, so they were leaving the aquarium when she slipped in the puddle. Ooh, what's a, that's a bad day, man. You had a bad day. <laughs> uh, this picture was taken in Peru. In Peru. This is the north of Peru, actually very close to Ecuador, in Tumbes. These are rice farms, rice. They make rice right here. All right, so keep practicing that listening. Okay, and then we have to sleep. To sleep. Sleep is dormir. To sleep. All right, so I was sleeping all night last night until I woke up. Estaba durmiendo toda la noche, anoche, hasta que me levanto. Me levante. We're talking in the past tense, remember, okay? So I was sleeping all night, last night, until I woke up. You, you were sleeping while the construction crew was working. You were sleeping while the construction crew was working. Okay, so if you work construction, you already know you're out there, you're working hard, you're doing what you got to do while everybody else is sleeping. All right, so you're sleeping while the construction crew was working a crew, your crew is like your team, okay? Tu equipo, tu grupo de personas que trabaja. Algo así, my crew. I'm with my crew, All right? So the construction crew, con los, los hombres de construcción que están un, un, un equipo. All right? So you were sleeping while the construction crew was working. All right? Now we have the same thing. He, she, and it. Si no sabes los pronombres, I, you, he, she, it, we, they, these are the personal pronouns. Necesitas aprender esos, okay? You need to learn estas palabras en amarillo. This will help you in an amazing amount. He, she, it was sleeping until noon yesterday. He, she, it was sleeping until noon yesterday. Estaba durmiendo hasta mediodía ayer, all right? Good job. Good job. Good job so far. You're doing a great job. Okay? You are doing a... Oops. You're doing a great job. Um, all right. So this is number four. We were sleeping. We, nosotros, estuvimos durmiendo. We were sleeping in the car, in el auto, until, until significa hasta. Until the police woke us up last night. Until la policía uh, nos levanta. Nos levantaron. <laughs> they woke us up. Okay, we're talking in the past. We were sleeping in the car until the police woke us up last night. All right, cool. They, they were sleeping in the hammock. A hammock is a hamaca. Hammock. Hope I said it right. I don't know. Sometimes my accent's bad. Hamaca? Hammock. They were sleeping. <laughs> hamaca. My hamaca. Where's my hamaca? They were sleeping in the hammock on the beach. The beach is La Playa. Last year, el año pasado, in Mexico. I love Mexico. I was sleeping on the beach in Mexico, too. They were sleeping in the hammock 
on the beach last year in Mexico. Estaban durmiendo en la hamaca, en la playa, el año pasado, en México. All right, so this is to sleep. I was sleeping all night last night until I woke up. You were, can you say it really fast? What is this? Hello, muy rápido. A ver, a ver. You were sleeping while the construction was working. What is this here, Russell? <laughs> he, she, it was sleeping until noon yesterday. We were sleeping in the car until the police woke us up last night. And then they were sleeping in the hammock on the beach last year in Mexico. To train. Okay, so we have to train. To train. Train no es un tren. This train is entrenar. Estamos entrenando. We are training. Okay, so remember, we we're talking about past uh, continuous. Okay, past continuous to train. I was training. I was training last night at the gym. I was training last night at the gym in el gimnasio, in el gym. I was training. Estuve entrenando anoche en el gym. You, you were training a new employee at your job last week. You were training. Estabas entrenando un nuevo empleo en tu trabajo uh, la semana pasada, right? You were training, training a new employee at your job last night. Training, g, training, training. Es muy poco eso G al fin. Eso G al fin. Training, training. Casi no escuchas el G. Okay, let's continue. He, she, and it, he was training for a marathon. Marathon. Digo lo conmigo, marathon last month. Month significa mes. He was training, entrenando, for a marathon el mes pasado. He or she was training for a marathon or it was training for a marathon last month. Okay, good job, everybody. You're doing a great job so far. Okay. Good job. We. We were training for the next basketball season. Baloncesto. Basketball. We were training. Entrenando por el próximo uh, estación de basketball. No creo que es estación. No me acuerdo. En este segundo yo sé que la palabra por season, pero no me no puedo pensarlo por alguna razón. Pero tú sabes. Escribe en los comentarios que es por season. Basketball season. Temporada. I think, yo creo, temporada, no sé, cuéntame en los comentarios. We were training for a próxima temporada de basketball, baloncesto. All right. They, ellos, they, no tenemos uh, géneros en inglés, es solo they, no es ellas, uh, ellas, ustedes, nada, solo they. Fácil, they were training, ellos estaban entrenando, hoy puede ser hombres, mujeres, lo que sea. They were training at the new gym since it was raining outside. Ellos estaban entrenando en un nuevo gym desde que, ¿por qué estaba lloviendo afuera? Disculpa mi mal español, pero más o menos está así. All right. They were training at the new, el nuevo gym since desde, podemos decir, desde, o oh, en este caso, ¿por qué? ¿Por qué estaba lloviendo afuera? Necesitan entrenar ahí porque hay lluvia. <laughs> No pueden entrenar lo otro. Okay? So, to train. All right? So, let's take a look at what we got so far. To leave. I was leaving my apartment. Leave significa salir. All right? So, I'm sorry if I forgot to say it that first time. Salir. To leave. I was leaving my apartment when my sister called me. Okay? To sleep. Dormir. To sleep is dormir. I was sleeping all night last night until I woke up. Cool. And then to train, entrenar, to train. I was training last night at the gym. I was training last night at the gym to train. And that's it, guys. So that's all I have for you today. So those are three... Uh, the past continuous tense in English with your verbs. Please learn those. Learn those verbs. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. Send me to your friends, your family. Follow me on TikTok and Instagram. Um, and that's all I have for you. Thank you for watching and have a great day. Keep learning English. Keep up with your goals. Check out my other videos. And I'll see you later. This is CJ from Out English. Adios.